everyone, Jason Bowles with OutdoorProductReview.com. I want to talk to you about a few things, you know, those of us who are outdoorsmen, a lot of us like to go fishing and stuff. And here in Colorado, where I am right now, uh, we have, you know, our normal size just kind of fishing boats, if you will. And uh, they won't allow you to take these boats into certain reservoirs because there's a threat of something called, it's an aquatic invaded species. And that's like zebra mussels here is a huge one. And what that does is the zebra mussels will actually infiltrate and, uh, and breed and overpopulate and clog drainage pipes and things along those lines. And uh, it's a really invasive species that the uh, government's really trying to take care of. Spend millions of dollars a year trying to take care of this problem that they have in the lakes. And uh, from that, what they've started to come out with is that they do boat inspections. Some of the inspections, what they're really looking for is they want to make sure that there's no mud in the tires, no mud on the trailer, no mud inside the trailer uh, or inside your boat, that your live wells are empty if you have a live well. There's no water in the boat whatsoever that can carry the zebra mussels or whatever they are that are around. Um, so you, what, one thing you need to have is a dry boat. Now, most people, when they get home, they just crank up their boat and wash it out as best they can and then sort of leave it, put a tarp on it, cover, whatever you have. Well. You know, the thing is, a lot of the water doesn't get out of the boat. I've had uh, numerous types of boats. I've had ski boats, I've had uh, fishing slash ski boats, and then, of course, this fishing boat here. But the problem is, is that your normal trailer jack, either one doesn't have a jack to jack it up or a wheel. You use buckets, you use logs, whatever you are, whatever you use to try to elevate the uh, front of the, the boat so that water drains out the back. Well, you never reach that you know desired way desired height that you want to have the boat at and if you do reach that then it's really unstable and that's one of the biggest problems that you face you know you're using a five gallon bucket for how long it starts crunching in it might even break a log is not very stable a little kid comes along knocks the boat off it falls on their foot they can have damage that way especially if it's not your own children I mean that would be very sad however you could look at a lawsuit or something along the lines and you don't want that to happen but I'll tell you what, we've come up with a new and innovative product, not myself, but the folks over at Tongue Bar. Now, this is really a simple, simple item, the Tongue Bar, T-U-N-G-B-A-R. It's basically used to elevate your boat safely and securely at a certain angle that all the water will wash out the back of the boat. Not only are you preventing the aquatic uh, species from invading other waters, but you're also preparing your boat for numerous different things. If you're a duck hunter, for instance, and you're going out duck hunting, and uh, you know most time duck season is November, December, and it's pretty chilly, you get out there, you put your boat, you pull your boat in from the day, you want to raise it in your garage or your yard or wherever the case is, and you put the tongue bar on there, it's going to raise up and lower the water out so that next morning you're not in there trying to shoot ducks and uh, doing the ice capades, if you will. You're not going to be sliding all around there. You know, I lived in the south for numerous amount of years, and uh, one of the problems we had out there were some of the, uh, the mosses and stuff that would start growing in the bottom of it. You'd get a slime if the water sat in there. And when we're out duck hunting, of course, November, December, it was still quite warm down there. However, you know, you'd be sliding around in the bottom of the boat if any water got in with that moss or that, that slime or whatever it was that grew in there. This is going to take care of that. Basically, it's going to elevate the boat allow the water to drain out the back of the boat and you're not going to have any problems. So why don't we go ahead and cover some about this. Alright, this is real simple. Alright, it's real simple. It's made from three quarter inch steel bar. You know, and it's framed to fit every three by three trailer out there. Most of your trailers are going to have a three inch by three inch uh, basically tongue on them, if you will. And, uh, you know, it's got some great innovative parts on it. It's, it's powder coated, so it's really soft, or really durable, if you will. Um, you know, tonguebar.com, T-U-N-G-B-A-R.com is the address for this, and they have great information over there for you. But what, and I'm going to show you here how to set this thing up on a boat. You can have your boat elevated in about two seconds. I mean, it really hardly takes any time at all. Like I said, got the tongue bar here. It has like a C here. This C part faces the trailer. Very simple. Lift it up. Put on the tongue bar. Pull it forward. And it's locked. It's locked in place. I want to show you. Look at this. It's not going anywhere. This bar is locked into place, and it is here for good. All right? One thing I do want to show you, and I want to get a close-up of this. You'll see right here, in the bottom right-hand side, that 
this tongue bar, you can take your chain and lock it to that washer. You'll see right here. Also, folks, one thing, if you look to in the bottom right, is you're going to see that water dumping out. Water comes right out of the trailer. You have a nice dry trailer, and there you go. No problem. As you can see, folks, the tongue bar works awesome. I mean, this boat here, in the winter, the snow will sit up on top. We have two tarps covering it. We have a boat tarp and then a regular tarp covering the top. All the water has run out of this boat. There's not a problem. This boat is going to be dry, high and dry throughout its life because we're going to keep the tongue bar on there year round. Not just in the summer, not just when we take it out, but for storage as well. We aren't going to have any problems with water. As you can see right here from the video, water's running out of the back of the boat. I, I, pan, I want you guys to go ahead and visit tunguebar.com. You're going to see the address right here, T-U-N-G-B-A-R.com. And you can see all the great products that they have. They have a smaller one that is meant for utility trailers or something along those lines. You guys could get one of those and store your trailers. If I had a, it, all my trailers, I'll have a tongue bar on. That is guaranteed because I tell you what, they're a great thing not only for boats but for utility trailers as well. So I just want to go ahead and tell you guys, it's, it's simple. Small eight-pound little bar is holding this boat, this whole boat up. All right? It's got a hundred pound tongue weight. So you can, you know, most of your tongue weights on your boats are under that anyway. You don't want to be putting no massive boat on here. However, it's going to work great for most of your fishing boats that are out there or your duck hunting boats. I know I have a John boat that I use for duck hunting. This is going to have the tongue bar on it as well. You guys saw how we are able to lock it. No one's going to steal your tongue bar either. So, you know, this product here, the tongue bar has a 10 in my book, a complete 10. And I don't give 10s at all, really. This is probably the first full 10 that I've given, something that is creative. It's innovative and it's simple and easy and has that why didn't I think of that type of thing. So if you guys go out there and visit tonguebar.com, and I think you guys will be very impressed with what you're going to see, uh, what they have on there. And they're going to come out with some great stuff here in the future as well. So, so for Outdoor Product Review, I'm Jason Ballas, and we're going to see you on our next review.